Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, so last week, I reacted to a BTS video, yet to come. Uh, figured I'd get some play off of it. I mean, they're a huge band, so I figured, you know, some people would react to it. I was not expecting what I got. Uh, it's by far the, I mean, I, my, my channel has only been up for about 30 days, maybe a little bit more, um, maybe about five weeks. And of course, to date, it's now the most viewed I have by three times, almost 5,000 views on it, hundred comments. Um, and a lot of subscribers have, have, have come in because of that. And I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for the support. Um, but I did not know I was actually <laughs> going to be taking on a fan base named Army. Uh, you guys are massive. You guys are huge. You're passionate. And I got to tell you, man, you guys are pretty cool. Um, I said some stuff in that video that easily could have jumped on and gotten dogged out for. Uh, and, and I, there were a couple snarky comments here or there, but for the most part, it was like, no, no, you just don't get it. That's not the song you want to do the first time you hear BTS. You're right. Uh, I've read all your comments. I really have, uh, all, you know, about a hundred of them. I went through and, ju and just looked at what everybody was saying. Uh, and I get that this was a song that was for the fans. This was a song that kind of is a capper to the nine-year career that they've had, like 12 or 13 albums. Um, and this was kind of like a throwback and alluding to previous works. Um, of course, all in the point saying, you know, everybody's saying that's the best, but we still have the best yet to come. So you're right. That's not the song you want to review the first time you hear a band is is it you know they're a big um, ode to the ode to their fan base kind of thing. Um, but you guys didn't shoot me up too much about it. You're like no no no, that's not what this is. You don't get it because of that. And yeah, and you're right. I didn't get it. I did not know the context. Uh, I had no basis for it. I go into this stuff unbiased and untainted for the most part. And and I I just I'm I'm looking to find new music. The, the whole point of this series is music you've never heard. I want to expose myself and people that come to this channel to music around the world that they've never heard. You know, I've, I've listened to videos from in Finland, uh, Germany, um, Korea, Japan, um, America, ac across various genres, you know, from, from Christian rock to heavy metal to folk to you know i'm just I, I try to find something different all the time because i really think i like expanding my musical horizons there's too much good music out there to not be listened to um but you're right that's not the song i should have done for bts <laughs> so i got a lot of suggestions uh um about what i should listen to uh from a lot of people who are very kind about it uh i gotta tell you um people in my comment sections are like hey i'm 66 hey i'm 40 you know, I'm, I'm 54, I'm 35, and they're male, female, they're parents, they're children, they're, you know, around the world. Uh, BTS, I think, is one of those bands that I knew had a huge fan base. Uh, I knew they're popular. I mean, when you see them have a billion views, or what was it, like 120 million views after like seven days of being out, it's like, okay, yeah, they got a huge fan base. Um, but I, I didn't know it was that expansive. Uh, pretty crazy. Uh, and, and the small cross-section that I saw, if there any representation whatsoever of ARMY, you guys have a great fan base. There are some fan bases out there that are toxic. Uh, some fan bases out there that you just, you know, they just, uh, they think that because they're a fan of whoever it is they're a fan of, they're better than you or you don't need to be listening to them. I'm like, okay, I won't listen to them. I got no problem with that. I got other things to listen to. I got other, other places to be and things to do. I'm not going to. If, if you're not going to sell me on your guy, I'm not going to buy it. Uh, it's just that simple. And I got, I got time to waste on you. You guys were like pointing out the history. You guys were pointing out, uh, you know, that they have 784 awards uh, only behind like Michael Jackson and Taylor Swift and Beyonce, which is crazy number of awards. 
and, and those are artists that have been around, you know, for, well, Michael Jackson, you know, he's been around for decades and decades. Um, 25 World Guinness Book of World Records, records. Um, best selling artist or band two years in a row, worldwide, I believe. Uh, six number one albums, Grammy nominations, and just the list goes on and on and on. Um, so very accredited, very awesome. Um, so you gave me, and, and you were like, you know what, this isn't like the song you want to start your BTS career with, your BTS fanship with. Uh, uh, there are other ones to listen to, and two, I think two of the ones I got the most, well, I got a lot, Black Swan, Dynamite, Dynamite, I did watch. Uh, House of Cards, Truth Untold, Cypher 1, 2, 3, and 4, which I saw Cypher 4, I believe. Um, tear, or Tear, 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 T-E-A-R. I'm not sure if that's Tear or Tear, whichever one. Um, but the two two most popular ones I got were Mike Drop and Run BTS. Not Run, but Run BTS. Uh, and Run BTS doesn't have a, a music video for it. And I was like, well, let's, I did watch it. Uh, because I did, because I am interested in lyrics. Uh, I believe lyrics are very important in songs, and I like seeing them. And I like man, being able to read them. I actually don't mind lyric videos, so I did watch that one. Uh, but I was like, let me go ahead and react to Mike Drop since this is a video. Uh, I got, the, I pulled up the lyrics, and thanks to Des, D E S, yeah, Des uh, uh, below in the comments. Thank you very much. Turned me on to this um, site, the uh, uh, Dual Set Bangtan. Uh, which translate all the lyrics and then give notes on it, which is really incredible. So I do have the notes pulled up uh, for this song, uh, and and I but I and I did skim them, um, and I think I might run into some problems here because I'm actually listening to Mike drop the Steve Aoki remix, and so the remix may be might be a little bit different than the original uh, lyrics. So I'll try to keep up as best as possible. Please don't shoot me if I mess it up. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and a lot of this is because of what I said about the rap, I think. They said if you're going to listen to a good rap, you need to listen to, like, this one. So we're listening to this one. Uh, I do like good rap. And you're right, the rap in Yet to Come was very good. I went back and listened to that. I, I think I said I, I went back and watched it two or three times. And, uh, yeah, I stand corrected on a lot of stuff there. So I really appreciate it. So let's get started here. Uh, this is uh, Mike Drop, the Steve Aoki remix uh, from BTS. This is 2017. Steve Aoki, great DJ. Love him. Okay. Great looking video. Okay. 
Okay. Pause. Uh, first of all, I really like the way this uh, this video looks. Uh, it's pretty cool because I can also see Aoki in the background there. Uh, it kind of like flashes lightning and there's like Stevie Aoki in the background. Really cool looking. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, I got to look at these lyrics for a second here because these are not the lyrics I, uh, that I remember. Um, yeah, who said my spoon is dirty? I don't care. Once I hold the mic, I beat up several gold spoons. So there's a note here um, that this is kind of like a class system, I guess, in Korea where it's kind of compared to spoons, the socioeconomic classes are, are like spoon classes. And so at the top you have like gold spoons and silver spoons and bronze spoons and then dirt spoons. So it was saying, you know, you think my spoon is dirty, so you think I'm the low class. I don't care, once I hold the mic, I beat up all the gold spoons. I beat up all the upper class. Pretty cool illusion there. Um, I fly off the handle several undercooked steaks. I'll chew them repeatedly at the star's dinner. Uh, core of world business. The first on the casting list sold out. There's not many in the, my class, so enjoy the value. That's pretty cool. I'm low, I'm, so enjoy the value because I'm low class, which means you get me for cheap, but you get the better quality. That's pretty cool. Uh, Mike, Mike, when you, you thought we'd fail, but I'm fine. Sorry. I made the billboard. Sorry. I'm worldwide. Sorry. I'm too successful. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I serve the parents right for you who couldn't. I, I, I do this for the parents, for those of you who couldn't do it. My tickets are, there's no ticket remaining for our concert. You're a ratatouille that tastes bad. And if you're jealous, sue me. Sue it. I don't know what the ratatouille reference is there. Um, I just, every time it's here, I just think of the cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you see my bag and it's full of trophies it's hella thick pretty alright cool so yeah they're slamming on their haters here uh, and the haters are already terrified that's pretty cool love this groove Lo I like I like that uh, Aoki's beat here is, is slamming I really like it back to it sorry it took so long to jump in there I was kind of like wrapped up in it, and then I was like oh I gotta react to this <laughs> So they're talking about being world worldwide. They're up at the top of the mountain. They're down at the bay. Um, they're riding in the clouds. They're riding, riding in the planes that he has, he has to sleep in the plane. That's where he dreams in the clouds. Watch your feet. And watch your mouth. Uh, yeah, some of the lyrics are getting mixed up here. They're not. I, I'm not catching everything that they're saying there, or they're make, they're mixing it up here. So they're, I think they're skipping around a little bit. But yeah, I get it, man. Talk it, talk it, walk it, talk it. Nice. Oh, I like that. that. This video really looks good. I like it. Like they've already transitioned like two or three different scenes, and every one is like a different one. But I love this scene right here. That's stark. 
quite on great contrast. I don't know. I don't. I'll probably have to go find the original. See, like, what was changed up on the remix. But I love the remix, and the remix has 1.2 billion views since 2017, uh, which is just sick. Uh, so yeah, good job there. Um, thank you, Army, pointing that out. Um, I gotta tell you, I haven't heard anything bad yet. Like I said, I listened to Dynamite. Uh, I listened to Cipher Four. Uh, I did listen to Run BTS, or I right, watched it on YouTube, and. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I think I think a couple of them hit harder than a, than another or something like that, you know. Um, but yeah, they're not. I, it's not bad music. They're. Um, I could even I could even tell. I had several of you tell me in the comments that that you know they went across genres, and I could tell that in in, in the songs, uh, especially when uh, in Dynamite had like a very. I had to go back and it's been a minute. But I have to go back and listen. But it felt like it had kind of like a um, like a rockabilly sound underneath it. Um, not really rockabilly, but something along those lines. It had like a really cool beat underneath it that really sounded good. Um, I saw that one. Of course, had a hundred million views, five hundred million or a trillion or whatever it was. Um, so I appreciate that. Thank you, Army. Uh, thank you for being a great fan base. Thank you for pointing this stuff out to me and having me go look at it. I, I, I tell everybody in my videos, please leave me a comment, leave me suggestions, and you know, because I want to find that new music too. You guys did that, and I appreciate it. Uh, I hope I represented this song very well. Uh, like I said, it was kind of a little bit lost in translation because the lyrics I did had didn't match up to the remix, but that's fine uh, because you know if you're if you're if you're dropping a bomb on your haters, I think the language is universal. And I think they said it all at the end there when there, you know, there's no more words to say, no need to apologize. This is farewell. We're not going to address this again. You know, when you, when you're dropping billion views and you're dropping, you know, six number one albums and you're tearing up records around the world, you don't look at the people a billion, you, about, you know, a thousand people love you. Right. So they're killing it. Y'all keep representing. Thank you so much. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know how I did. If there's something else you'd like me to check out, maybe something there's a there's a song that's a little different in their in their discography that you'd like me to check out. Be glad to do that in the future. Uh, I got a couple other songs waiting on me right now for for some uh, reaction. I hope you guys check those out too. Uh, you know, these are what I got. <laughs> uh, so check them out. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Drop a like on that. I'd love to have the thumbs up. And uh, y'all have a great day.